This is a story about changing your mind and how happy it makes you. I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace. It was in pretty good condition, had a little ding here and there. I originally was going to paint it with DIY paint in blue iris, but then the JRV colors were announced and I knew instantly I needed to do plum pudding. I got started on this in blue iris and then I got a call from a Debbie Beard of DIY Paint, Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint, and these new colors are out. All the quality that you want from DIY Paint, but it's different. These JRV colors are one step. You don't have to put a finish on it, which makes it amazing. Say ah. Uh, and this really yummy plum pudding. I'm just gonna paint over this, so we'll circle back to that. I like to keep a bunch of these cheap, and get these at the dollar store on hand, just to stir the one step. Because there is some separation, give it a really good shake, give it a really good stir, just to get those pigments all mixed up in there before you start, and look how yummy that is. All of the one step paints are highly pigmented, just like the regular DIY clay base paint. I am doing a couple of really thin coats. It goes on so smoothly. And then I'm using the Little Dipper paintbrush from DIY Paint and the smoothie for long surfaces. Okay, round two. So it's pretty warm, the paint is dried fast. Let's hope I don't get any paint on my Johnny Wes shirt, but uh, I'm gonna give this a good shake and this should go really fast. And then we're gonna move on to the drawers. For long flat surfaces, I like to use the feather. I'm spritzing the surface with a little bit of water so the paint will just flow over it. I do long strokes and then I try to go back and forth. You can see that it's dripping just a little bit. Just be sure to keep going over your whole surface and you'll have way less brush marks. Again, going over with the Little Dipper, it's so great for getting in all those little crevices. Okay, I didn't get any paint on my shirt. So the inside, of the dresser is really dry now and I'm gonna do the drawers. Sometimes I do the drawers flat, but I'm going to do them inside and they're really easy since there's not a lot of detail here, which is gonna be so perfect for the new IOD transfer. One thing I am gonna do is add a little bit of some painter's tape just to the edge here of these drawers. So that way, not necessary, but I'm a little bit of a messy painter. I'm so used to how easy DIY is that you can fix your mistakes so easily. And I'm gonna save myself some time by just putting a little bit of painter's tape there. I'm gonna show you a really nice trick to clean up the wood on these sides once I'm done, just to make them a little richer and a little more expensive looking, because we're gonna give this an expensive Facebook market paste dresser, a whole new look once we're done. The paint on this dresser looks like it was latex paint. So I'm going to do what I call my primer coat. I do one really thin coat of DIY paint, allow it to completely dry, and then all subsequent paint coats will stick really well. So you can see I'm using my continuous mister and spraying the surface. I'm also spraying my paintbrush because all of the DIY paint brushes will hold a ton of paint. And if you just give it a little spritz, you will be able to get way more paint off of it before dipping it back in your can. First coat of One Step has dried and I'm going to repeat the same process. You can see how really well it covers. And then I like to use what's left on my paintbrush to go over just the top of the drawer to really give it a professional finished look. So the entire dresser is painted in plum pudding. I use three very thin coats and look how much I have left. This is a 16 ounce can and I used only about eight ounces of it. So I will have plenty to do another dresser. Now, the really nice thing about the one step paints is you do not have to put a finish on it. It accepts transfers really, really well. You can put a finish over it, but it is really tough. Once it dries, it dries like the traditional clay formula we have, which only DIY paint has where it is a fully clay base. There is only nine ingredients listed there on the can. This is the new IOD. This is the spring 2024 release. This is the Joie de Roses. And I am going to use this transfer on it. So you can do this two ways. You can leg your piece down and then just work like you're working over a tabletop or you can hang it. I like to use painter's tape to secure it in place, but because this paint dries so smooth and so hard, I think the transfer will accept really fast to it. So let's get started. This transfer is eight sheets. It's actually two scenes that all fit together. So they are in sequential order and I'm gonna show 
you how to place these together. I'm gonna measure my dresser from the top to the bottom and then from side to side to get the exact center point so I know where to place that first piece of the transfer. I made a little mark with a colored pencil so I could see where to begin that and now I am lining it up and you can see there's gridded lines on all of the IOD transfer so I'm going to use a piece of painter's tape to secure it in place and be careful not to press it down too hard because it will grab on where you put it so you want to make sure it's totally lined up. Now I'm using the enclosed burnishing stick so you want to just use your finger and that stick and go back and forth and back and forth until you see that the transfer is releasing. You'll be able to see the plastic paper without the transfer on it as you can see here. Now because this piece has like a little curve and detail it's going to be a little bit tricky so I was careful not to press the rest of my transfer down into the dresser because I'm going to need to kind of like wrap it around some of that detail and I want it to look like it's totally flush with the drawers and that it's been around for a long time. This transfer is so pretty it actually has cracks on purpose in the transfer to make it look like it his old old paint like an old master painted this the transfers are micro thin and they look amazing you'd be hard pressed to know that you didn't actually paint that scene yourself so now i am going to show you i'm wrapping it kind of under that lip there and again going back and forth so when you are using the burnishing stick sometimes what you can do if you have like a big segment where where there is a solid piece of color, you can get it to grab and kind of just gently, gently pull. You don't want to pull too hard because you might rip it. If you rip it a little bit, that's not a problem. Lay it back down and most likely you'll get that transfer to release. There's a little bit left on there, but I think that's where it was trying to go over that part of the drawer. So when you're done, turn it over and use the non the shiny side and just burnish it in there. And now I'm using the stick to just kind of cut a seal of where those drawers are. And it looks weird now, but it's gonna to totally come together when I get the rest of the scene on. Now you can see how it's coming together. I am carefully lining up the letters and putting the scene together. Again, these are in sequential order in your pack, but you can figure out pretty easily just by looking at the back, which pieces go with which, repeating the same procedure here. Okay, I'm on the third piece, and this one is gonna wrap around a little bit to the side. So it's gonna just get a little tricky when I get to that curved edge, but I am going to go with it. It's not gonna line up perfectly on that side, but I love the way it's gonna wrap around the dresser, and it's gonna make such a three-dimensional look that this painted scene is actually extending past just the flat front. Okay, here we go again. I'm sweating a little bit. That's because I am just <laughs> concentrating so hard. It may have been easier to put it on the floor, but I often like to do things the hard way, and this way I can see instantly how it's gonna look, and you're looking straight at it. You could cut like little easement lines in this, but I find that just kind of making it wrap into the curves, and I kind of like the imperfect look of this anyway. So I got this to release pretty fast, and then again, going over with the shiny side, in the words of Barry Manilow, it looks like we made it. Since I painted the drawers in the dresser, sometimes you'll create a seal with the drawers getting stuck. So the solution is to use a sharp box cutter or razor blade. Don't cut the paint off, just go really slowly and really carefully, and then tilt the dresser forward and the drawers should pop right out. Instead of lining the drawers, sometimes what I like to do is I like to restore the wood with clear wax. We're going to use DIY paint clear wax. It's 100% natural. I'm just going to get a little bit on a brush and I'm going to just show you on the side. Now, I know most people aren't gonna pull out, but one thing that's gonna accomplish two jobs here is it'll make the drawers easier to pull in and out, and it also is just gonna restore the wood. Sometimes I will line the drawers, but I feel like the wood is very good in this dresser, and I'm trying to keep the integrity of how it originally was. The original drawer liners that somebody put in there just came right out, and I'm going to restore this with some clear wax. It will dry hard, and it will keep it water resistant. It's not 
not going to come up when someone wants to put their clothes in there. It's 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 the the wood is very dry. It's going to absorb it all, but it'll just bring it back to life a little bit. The top of the stressor with the DIY paint, JRV One Step Paint and Plum Pudding is perfect. And it is so smooth and so durable. But I have one more trick up my sleeve. I always like to finish my tops with one coat of DIY 100% natural clear wax. The reason I do this, and I'm gonna show it after it dries, is that it creates this watertight barrier. So people can put a glass down with condensation. They can spill something on it. Spill, um, so Soda, wine, whatever, and it'll just pull up. So that is my final tip. My phone just popped out of the thing. So we're gonna show how to put this on and buff it. I'm gonna buff the insides of the drawers so they're perfect. Sometimes it's okay to change your mind. The end result could make you so happy you wanna dance. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And please be sure to watch all the other videos in this playlist showing the new JRV One Step DIY Paint Color. The video playlist is listed in the description.